Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the latest and greatest video of Complete and Utter Bollocks by Nibiru, Planet X, Scott Cone, and Claudia Albers, the comedy duo of the century. Just brace yourself for the boring bits. There is a nice animation to watch, but other than that, just laugh yourself silly at the rank stupidity. But yeah. ladies and gentlemen, uh, you know, we wanted to bring you a special report that Dr. Albers wrote yesterday, and over the course of the last couple of days, I've actually stumbled on to some pretty critical information that is dealing with the pole shift, or the shifting, or the wobbling of our planet. Oh my god, not Earth Earthshot again, for God's sake. The fact of the matter is, folks, the information and the evidence that I uncovered over the course of the last couple of days and the research that Dr. Albers has completed is probably going to blow your freaking mind. No, what's going to blow my mind is your complete competence and stupidity as a pair. And the information that was discovered over the last couple of days and the report that Dr. Albers wrote is probably going to shake you to the core a little bit. And, and we're going to get right into it. Now, I'm going to share my screen here, and I, I want all of you to follow me very carefully here. I'd follow very carefully as well. The amount of bullshit that's being spouted, you're going to get it up to the nostrils. I'm going to bring up... Now, this is my video program that I use to make some videos. And what you're about to see, ladies and gentlemen, is a space satellite called Epic. There is no satellite called Epic, you moron. And Doctor, do you want to explain to everybody where this uh, mm -hmm. where this this satellite uh, spacecraft yeah. is located? Yes, I, I can do that, Scott. It's it's between, uh, it's at the L1 position. And the L1 position is directly between the Earth and the Sun. And it's what's called a point of equilibrium where uh, the forces from the Sun and from the Earth are perfectly balanced. You were desperately trying not to say gravity then, weren't you? You fuckwit. So uh, the spacecraft always stays exactly between uh, the Earth and the Sun. So it, it basically it has its own orbit around the Sun, but because the Earth has its orbit around the Sun, it always moves in step with the Earth so that it's always between the Earth and the Sun. I believe the word you're looking for, a geosynchronous orbit, Muppet. So whatever view we get from uh, the spacecraft, say if it was pointed at the sun, would be the same as what we view from the Earth, except a little closer. And then, but now this, the spacecraft has pointed its camera at the Earth. So it's facing, at the back of it is the sun and it's pointing towards the Earth. And we are seeing the Earth through its camera as it rotates on its daily uh, rotation. So this camera, this camera on this spacecraft sits directly between the Earth and the Sun at all times with a view of the Earth. That's absolutely correct. Okay, now listen folks, you know, I, I got my hands on some of this video footage and, um, you know, I, I don't know if, <laughs> I don't know if NASA did this on purpose or they're just that damn stupid. No, Scott. It's yourself and the Doctor that are stupid. Utterly brain-dead, to be frank. Or, I'm sure they understand what's, what's happening. So, I'm going to play this video. I had to slow it down because in the NASA version, they had it going so fast that the Earth just looked like a spinning blue and white ball, and you really couldn't tell or see any detail. So what we're getting into here right now is Dr. Elbers and I are going to show you beyond a shadow of a doubt that the Earth has already shifted. It is shifting very, very badly. No, it isn't, Scott. 
which you and the doctor are lying very, very badly. And this can account for the massive weather anomalies, the disappearance and the recession of water from certain areas. This is also going to contribute to the earthquake and the volcanic activity. But ladies and gentlemen, what I'm trying to tell you is, is this is a very serious, very serious situation because what you're going to see is going to freak you out. What's freaking me out is your utter rank stupidity. And I'm sorry to say that of your subs, you just don't seem to have a brain cell between them. But just try to maintain your composure and, and just watch. And please understand, try to understand what you're seeing. Now, before I even get into this... Yeah, sad to say, I lost my composure. I was absolutely fucking pissing myself laughing at your stupidity. You're going to see the Earth rotating. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for a period of one year. Okay, now this is how far this is going back. This is going back from July of 2015 to... August of 2016. Now, I haven't put together the footage for uh, the first 10 months of this year. I'm actually afraid to. But what you're going to see that occurred over the course of the last year is just enough to bend your mind. No, Scott. But it certainly seems to have walked yours and the doctor's bloody brain. It is... It is truly mind-bending. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to start playing this video. And, um... We're going to watch it. And I, I had to slow this down, folks, because... The way that they had it set up, it would just spin so rapidly that you really couldn't tell what was actually happening. So if you just have a little patience, you'll you'll start to see what is occurring. Now, you you are actually looking at the earth from the view of the Epic satellite, the spacecraft Epic. A lot of us have never heard of it. I never heard of it until a few days ago. And there's a very good reason for this, you dumb fuck. The EPIC is a camera system on board a satellite called the Discover, spelt D-S-C-O-V-R. So look up that satellite, then you'll find out the name of the camera system, as I said, is EPIC. As in, EPIC fail again, boys and girls. And when I did, and I found out where this satellite craft was, then I started investigating. Now, I'm going to stop this for just one moment, folks. Okay? I want you to... I'm just going to try to go ahead here. This is kind of hard to operate on this, this piece of video. Now, let me get to it. What I want you to concentrate on, folks... I want you to concentrate on the continent of Africa because it's the largest land mass in this video that we're going to use, no pun intended, but as a land marker. I want you to pay super close attention to the continent of Africa. Now, Taking into consideration the Earth's tilt according to the seasons, we know that, we understand that, we have already calculated it. But you haven't, because you're a couple of complete morons. You don't understand how it works, so don't say you do, dickhead. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when you see the earth tilting and you see land masses suddenly moving northward 
I don't want people to start saying, oh, that's just the Earth's tilt for the seasons, the seasonal change. Folks, we understand that. We've already calculated that. And what you're about to see is not the seasons changing. Well, everybody, I'm sure you get the gist of this by now. And if you've been watching the little animation I did, you might have begun to understand what's actually going on. The Earth's tilt is fixed. There is a very minor wobble called Chandler wobble, which is so small it's very, very difficult to measure without lasers. However, as for the tilt of the Earth, it stays in one direction, as we know, it points to the North Star. But what happens as we go around the Sun, it doesn't keep pointing at the Sun. It stays in the same direction, and as it goes round, the Earth changes position just because it is moving around the Sun in an orbit. That's why we get the seasons on the Northern Hemisphere and on the Southern Hemisphere differently. Um, so just watch the drawing and you'll see that is what's happening. It's the camera's view that makes it appear that everything is moving. When it's not, it's just the angle of view to the tilt that's changing. So the Earth isn't tilting anywhere. Perfectly stable. It's just the view from the camera and the way that the tilt changes in relation to the camera. That is all. So as you can see, once again, Planet X researcher extraordinaire is his pet monkey. Really haven't done any fucking research at all. Again. <laughs> <laughs>